It's currently 7 a.m. I'm running a tad late for my train, so I'm like running, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> If something goes wrong, it's easier to find competitor 72 than that person with the initial CV. Well, in my case, the CV. There you go. Thank you. That was confused. Nice. Thanks. So this is a bit of a different video. I'm actually showing my face instead of doing a voiceover this time. So hopefully this is different. Anyway, so um, round one of two by two went okay, pretty average for me. First average was actually close to my PB. I didn't realize until after the fact, literally about half an hour ago when I checked. So that was kind of annoying. I was close to PB, but I didn't get it, but it's fine. Second event of the day was Pyraminx round one. Pyramid Ram Run was fine, basically 9 single, 10 average, that's basically what I average at home. I don't ever practice Pyramid, so I wasn't really expecting much, but it went okay. After lunch on the first day was the unofficial event of Team Blind. So Team Blind is when one person is blindfolded, the other person tells the person what to do, what moves to do on the queue. And here in this video on the left is Chris Mills, UK national record holder for 3x3. And the guy blindfolded is Timon Kolodzinski, which he is the current 3x3 world record average holder. So they were having fun with some unofficial team blind. <laughs> Next event of the day was 2x2 two two round 2. Thank 
eight seconds. <laughs> so two by two round two went all right i mean it's whatever really two by two i don't practice so uh, it was like a 10 average or something which is what i average at home and third and final event of the day was pyramid round two <laughs> So, yet again, I did not practice, but it was fine. Um, pretty the average result. Got an 11 average, a bit of a worse average, and uh, a better single by a fraction. So, yeah, it was fine. Pure ranks was fine. So that was the end of day one. Pretty okay results all round. First event of day two was 3x3 three three round one. Yeah, that was excellent. That was very nice, isn't it? is really consistent. Three by three round one went uh, to be expected, to be honest. I got into second round, so that's really the only aim of that average. I got a 24 average, which is pretty normal for me. 
and a 21 single. I had such a great judge. He was a dad of a young kid. I didn't catch his name, but a dad judge, you were the best. Trust me, like every time I did a solve, he was saying, oh, that's great. Very consistent. He was like, you know, bigging me up. It was pretty cool. He was just an all round nice guy. And I love parents that are involved like that with their kids' hobbies. It's really fun to see. Anyway. Second event of the day was 4x4 round 1, and I will forever not make cut off a 4x4. So the results of 4x4 were pretty average for me, no PBs or anything. First solve, I ended up getting a PLL skip, but there was PLL parity, so that's 1 out of 2 parities. And then second solve, I got OLL parity, so 2 out of 4 parity, uh, possible parity, so that was okay, I guess. Uh, second solve was 10 seconds faster than previous. I'm very inconsistent with 4x4, as you can tell. I basically just do it just to get more solves on my record. One day I will be fast, but I need to learn a proper method for that. I can't be bothered, to be honest. Overall 4x4, good. And last event of the day was 3x3 round 2. Thank you. I was on track to get PR, I got two 20s and then a 28 and 21, so I basically needed, I think it was a 24 or better, which is really doable for me considering the average was like two 20s and a 21, um, but it was the last solve and I ended up getting a 31, so then that means the 28 counted towards the average, I was very annoyed, uh, but it's fine. I, I don't know what happened in the last solve, I think because I figured out what I needed to get PR, I think that kind of stressed me out a bit. And I was like, oh, I need to do good, I need to do well, and when I think that, I end up doing terrible. But that's fine. So essentially in this competition I got no PRs, but you can't expect to get PRs in every competition. So my final thoughts on this competition, it was a really fun competition, I got to see all my friends again. Also, AJ had these cool red glasses that I used to do a 4x4 solve, which changes the colour of the cube, so everything looked dark blue and yellow and white, and I was able to complete the solve. It took me like 10 minutes, but I still did it. That was, that was pretty fun. Um, I got to see uh, all my other friends 
got to chill out, that was fun. Unfortunately, I did injure my back running for the train in the morning, as you probably saw in the first clip. I said, oh, I'm running late for my train. I ended up pulling something in my back, so I didn't stay that long after. On the second day, basically, I went straight back home because I was in a lot of pain. So I think I did well considering I was in pain for most of the competition. Yeah, I currently have no plans uh, for next competition wise. Hopefully I'll be able to go to the Stevenage Comp in May, depending on whether my work allows me to have the weekend off. Who knows? So let's see, that might be my next competition. So I have a lot of time to learn new PLLs. I am determined to get full PLL down at some point this year, which is doable. I just need to take the time to actually learn it. But yeah. Brent Cross Winter 2023. Fun time. See you later.